Health management programs are hugely important and actually in our um, large survey that we do of employers across the U.S. It's about 3,000 employers that participate in that survey. We actually, um, this past year, did a stratification of employers by quartiles based on the number of best practices that they have. And so best practices would be um, leading edge um, health management programs, consumer directed um, medical plan designs, having a data warehouse and the like, you know, all of the things that go into designing that type of a strategy. And we found that the employers in the top quartile for having the most best practices had on average 2% um, lower trend, lower cost increases than those in the bottom quartile. So for the requirements of the um, essential health benefits, the first basic requirement um, beyond providing access to benefits for everybody that works 30 or more hours is to make the offer of minimum essential coverage. And minimum essential coverage does not necessarily have to be a 60% minimum plan design. Um, and anybody that has minimum essential coverage would fulfill the individual mandate. So we asked the question of 700 employers that partic participated in a recent survey whether or not they were offering a minimum essential type plan that was less than a 60% design. And 8% of them said that they were currently sponsoring such a program. And another like approximately 20% said that they were interested in doing so and considering that for in the future, which is really kind of interesting when you think about a 60% plan is really a bare bones plan. But the idea behind the minimum essential coverage is to provide a plan that's even lower cost than what is deemed to be um, the minimum design and affordable by the law. But for somebody that really wants to meet that individual mandate, but do so in the most cost-effective manner that they can.